Hello everybody, my name is Jeremy Eck with the Boathouse Group. Today we're gonna to do an exclusive walkthrough on the brand new Solus 32 CS. We just received our first Solus 32 and it is absolutely incredible. Let's start off on the bow and talk about all the amazing features on the boat. In the very front of the boat, you're gonna have your anchor locker. That is a very nice oversized anchor locker. You're gonna have storage for two fenders, as well as your windlass with controls, storage for your windlass wrench, and a really nice deep drop. That way, if you're offshore fishing, pulling up that anchor, you're not having to pull the anchor road side to side, trying to keep room for that, that fall, so you're not getting tangled up. Just a really nice subtle feature that a lot of other manufacturers overlook. A little bit further back from it, nice wraparound seating up here on the bow. All of your seats have a nice backrest. You do have the combing bolster all 360 degrees around the boat, as well as all of your cushions up here on the bow are all gonna be on magnets. So if you need to, pull the cushions up for a nice clean layout if, you want, if you're fishing and wanna step up or for that storage when you're not using the boat. On either side, you are gonna have those cushions being scalloped on the outside edge. That re works really well for your storage boxes underneath. One hand design, you can lift up that lid, you can keep the cushion on, it'll lift all the way up and have nice access to your storage down below. A little bit further back on either gunnel side, on the starboard side, you're gonna have your trash can storage um, with a magnetic door, as well as life vest storage just behind that. And then on your port side, you're gonna have nice Plano tackle box storage with life vest storage on the back side of that. In the center, you're gonna have a nice day lounger on the boat, which can be scalloped towards that backrest. What that does is as you're hitting waves, your butt's not gonna wanna slide forward. It's gonna keep you against the backrest. You're not having to readjust yourself. It just keeps you very comfortable. A little bit further back from that on either side, you got a nice little catch-all storage. If you want a bag or some dock lines, your towels, they're out of the wind and nice, easily accessible then right from there. As we move a little bit further back in the boat, a couple nice subtle features that you're gonna find on a Solus that a lot of the other competitors do not offer are little things like your fire extinguishers. You got dual fire extinguishers on either side of the boat. They're gonna be in a dedicated storage position. They're held in place. Another really nice feature is gonna be your fresh and raw water washdowns on board. You're gonna have a dedicated holder on both port and starboard side of the boat that holds your coil hose, has a place for it so they're not just sitting around on the deck, as well as you've got a T-handle that on either port or starboard side, you can switch between raw water and fresh water. So you're not having to go, I gotta go to my port side for fresh water and starboard for raw water. You can switch that on the fly depending on what side you're on the boat. A Little bit further back is gonna be your dedicated storage for things like gaffs. The tip is protected. You're not worried about someone kicking it or injuring themselves. And then on the other side, you will have that dedicated rod storage. In the floor on either side, you're gonna have oversized fish boxes. This is gonna be a nice fish box on this side for those days that you're just going out snapper and grouper fishing. Then on the other side, you're gonna have a two door oversized fish box that'll be good for those longer hauls or days you're bringing a larger load back in. Stepping back a little bit further, something that Solus has prided themselves on all of their boats is that dive door access. Swing that dive door all the way open open up that lid and you have a nice oversized door that that ladder can slide down on, flip your handle out. Again, small little things, really easy to get that out. And if you look at that ladder, it's actually out at an angle. It's not straight up and down. As you're trying to get in on, on a boat, when, the, when you're trying to climb straight up a ladder, it is really, really difficult. So just subtle little feature on that that makes a very large difference. Here at the helm, we've got a nice oversized love seat here with flip down bolsters on either side. Um, so you can either stand up and use it as a padded leading post or flip that seat down then to be sitting. Even when you are in that seated position, it is a very comfortable setup where you can still reach the wheel, you can get to see all your full controls, everything like that. Here at the dash, you do have the full Solus helm, which is gonna be all of your digital switching. You've got your shadow caster lighting, so you can change colors all throughout the boat to different colors, have a change to the music, and so on and so forth. You're also gonna have some different switch panels up here. One of the really nice features I like on a Solus is this windshield. 
on a nice day, I can crack it just a little bit while underway. That way I can get some just nice airflow. Or if I'm sitting out trolling or at the beach hanging out, open it up all the way, get that breeze rolling through here or as you're idling, whatever the case may be. Dual VHF radios on board. You got your JL Audio full sound system. You got the M6 speakers that are all LED illuminated. Wireless phone charger, joystick controls with your autopilot. The boat just equipment wise in terms of electronics is just unbelievable. Above you at the helm here, you also have your life vest storage. You got the zipper to open that up. That'll store four life vests inside of there. Little storage compartment underneath you here. You also have some nice access to all of your battery switches and everything. It's just a clean layout. You don't have a be going down in the berth or in the cabin to get to them. Again, they just really thought out all of their, you know, little nooks and crannies. As we're talking about the Solus 32, a um, couple specs on the boat are gonna be, one, your length overall is gonna be 32 foot seven inches. The boat's gonna have a 10 foot three beam with 304 gallons of usable fuel. Some of the power options on board, you can do the Yamaha 300s, the Mercury 300s or racing 300s, the Mercury 400s or the Mercury 450. So a lot of different power options. Um, the 300 Rs on this boat will push the boat right around 63 mile an hour. You're gonna get close to that 70 mile an hour as you see it equipped here with the 400s. Just a lot of great options depending on what your boating needs are. As we step down into the berth down below, you got a nice oversized door with a magnet to hold that open. As you step down below, first thing you're gonna notice is that nice long berth down below inside of there. On the whole front edge, you'll have nice storage for towels or whatever you wanna put inside of there. On that same wall over there, you're gonna have a nice large window with a curtain that'll pull down for privacy. But while you're down in there, you can't open it up because it is a one-way glass, so you don't feel so claustrophobic inside. On the front side towards the helm, you're gonna have a storage compartment down below that if you do the air conditioning option, that will fill that storage. And then just above that, you have access to all of your electronics and really nice clean setup to get to. You've got LED lighting overhead, some mood lighting in the steps, just for that subtle lighting as you're stepping in and out of there throughout the night. Nice sink set up down below as well. So really a nice berth down below for that 32 foot size boat. As I talk about Solus boats, the first thing that comes to mind to me is attention to detail. All their subtle little things that they do. For instance, as we're looking at this back transom here, all of your hinges throughout the entire boat are all gonna be through bolted. All of your lids are all gonna have gas shocks. All the lids are finished off, both on the exterior as well as the interior. Even all the edges you'll notice are all finished off. Looking inside the live well, a lot of live wells will have an unfinished top side of the live well they cap off and, and finish off the top sides of the live well. Why is that important? As you have bait, they'll get stuck up in the corner, hit that rough edge of fiberglass, and they'll end up dying and you'll have dead bait in the boat. So that kind of brings us up to a wrap on the full walkthrough on the Solus 32. So if you have any questions about this boat in particular, any other boat that Solus offers, or any of our brands that we carry as well, feel free to reach out to us at any three of our locations. Um, visit us on our website or our YouTube channel, any of our social media channels, to get a lot of extra knowledge on all the brands we carry. Um, otherwise, just come stop by at the store, come meet us in person, we'd love to show you around. Again, my name is Jeremy Thank you for watching today and I look forward to meeting you.